electricity is the fourth need of humans nowadays and as we know it is not available in our nature so we have to convert it from some other form of energy so as law of energy itself says that electricity cannot be created nor be destroyed it will only transfer from one form to another form in this video i am going to explain you how exact hydro energy going to transform into electrical energy myself pmo and i will explain you all the things related with hydroelectric power plant so let's start as the topic is wide i have bifurcated them in multiple points as you can see on screen we have seven different aspects according to which we are going to study the hydroelectric power plant first is capacity of water flow regulation or we can say it is a quantity of water available second one is availability of head third one is power plant capacity fourth one is the nature of load characteristic fifth one is based on transmission system interconnection actually and sixth one is according to purpose seventh one is according to hydrological relation so these are the points according to which we have different type of hydroelectric power plants available now we will see one by one in details first based on quantity of water available or water flow regulation as we know the water quantity is available different capacity in different regions that's why we have four type of hydroelectric power plant based on this quantity of our water available in which first is runoff river power plant without pondage second one is runoff river power plant with pondage third one is storage type plants impoundment uh, type plant and so we can call it and fourth one is pump storage plant so these are the four type of power plants we can see with respect to the quantity available of water so let's see one by one they are working in case of runoff river power plant without pondage that means this power plant will run directly on the flow of water available that means when the river is full of water we can place turbine there and it will produce the electricity simply we can say it. but as we know we have three different seasons climatic conditions in india and that's why the quantity of water can be different in this three different seasons hence we can see that according to that runoff river power plant without pondage is not that much popular if the water quantity is less it will produce less electricity if the water quantity is more that time it will waste the water more than their capacity if the capacity is some megawatt and the water flow is more than that capacity we cannot use that water we have to waste that water these are some disadvantages of uh, this runoff river power plant without pondage but same time we have advantage like it can be built in very compact area means suppose a very narrow river there is no uh, possibility of uh, making a reservoir in that area like in himalaya region we can place this type of power plant next is runoff river power plant with pondage as we have discussed in last point that if we don't have the storage capacity then we will totally depend on their flow of water whatever water is flowing through that river we have to only depend on that water so their firm power uh, one important thing see because of these things the runoff river without pondage having a very less firm capacity and firm capacity means the capacity of power plant available to transmit it will be the maximum capacity of that power plant which is ready to transmit or ready to connect to the grid so this is firm capacity and it is very less in without pondage type of power plant in second type we have added pondage with runoff river power plant and advantage of this uh, we can increase the capacity of our plant with some storage consideration means if i have pondage with uh, 7 to 8 hour so in case of the flow will be reduced then also we can use this type of power plant in that time also for limited time but we must have to consider that as it is a pondage means small storage it will run for some fixed defined hours in case of storage storage means little bit bulk capacity of pondage or bulk size pondage it can store water for a few months so with this storage backup we can increase the firm capacity of our power plant and we can use it as a base load as well as peak load i will explain what is exactly the base load and peak load uh, next slides but we can use this as a 
base load or peak load power and it is very reliable as we have the backup that's why it will be reliable third type is very popular type and in india most of the power plants are build on this theme that is storage type power plant or impoundment power plant in this type of power plant actually the size of catchment area and reservoir is very high means we stored a very huge water in the back side of our power plant in reservoir that is called as reservoir in which we will storage a huge water and we can use it whenever we require hence we can use it as a base load and some cases if the storage is small then we can use it as a peak load power plant also and as it is not uh, depend on the seasons it having a huge storage it can produce the electricity in summer also because of its storage so it can be very helpful for our indian climate fourth power plant is little bit uh, different type of power plant which is pumped storage power plant actually the pumped storage power plant means we are going to produce the electricity through the water or high, definitely the hydro electric power of plant is there but if in that region the water availability is less then what we can do we can create two storage at two points as you can see in this diagram one head water pond and second one is tail water pond when the electricity demand is very high that means the most of consumers are demanding electricity and we are lagging in production that time we can use this power plant and we will transfer the water from head water pond to tail water pond through the pen stock and we will produce the electricity through the turbine and once the demand is lower and electricity is more available as compared with demand then this turbine will act as a motor and they will repump the tail water pond water again to head water pond so we will re transfer the water which have we have collected in tail water pond we will transfer it again to head water pond so that's why this type of power plant is called as pump storage power plant because we are not transferring the water or directly flowing this water to the river rather than that we are transferring the water to the another reservoir and we produce the electricity and when the demand is less that time we will recirculate this to the head of water pond hence we can say that we have a power plant which can be used whenever the demand is high so definitely the application of this type of power plant is 100% peak load power plant we cannot use it uh, as a base load power plant but it will be very helpful for our system because whenever the demand is very high that time it will help us a lot now second category of uh, analysis is based on availability of head the meaning of head is the slope distance between our reservoir to the turbine where we place the turbine and producing the electricity the distance between these two things is called as head so we have three type of uh, power plants based on the head one is high head that means the distance between uh, reservoir and turbine is more than 100 meter medium head in which the power plant having head with 30 meter to 100 meter and in low head less than 30 meter distance power plant if we want to move the turbine we have to apply the water with huge force and here having the force of that water that can be defined by this head. Now, as you can see on your screen, this is the high head power plant in which the distance vertical slope is very high. So the water definitely come with very high speed and we can produce the electricity at the turbine. So we have to design the turbine. Actually, why we bifurcate this according to head? The main reason is which type of turbine we have to decide because according to the speed we have to select different type of turbines. So I will uh, explain or prepare one more uh, video on the turbine which type of turbines are there. But in this video also I will explain you which type of turbine we can use.
So first of all, let's see the different due to the, our hydroelectric power plant. This is called as reservoir where we store the water for future use. Head works. This is the wall of water where we stop the flow of water and through this tunnel we transfer it to the slope and through the paint stop we will drive that water to the powerhouse where our turbine has been located. In between that search chamber is available. Head may be changed but all these are, uh, components are important for our hydroelectric power plant. So this high head hydro power plant which having the head 100 meter plus transferring the water very high speed that's why we must have to connect a surge tank with this. So what is exactly the surge tank? Surge tank means suppose in any case if turbine stop rotating or if we want to disconnect the generation and we want to stop the flow at that time a very huge burden can be appear on the paint stop. And in this diagram, you can see this paint stock will face very high burden of water and it can break this pipe also. So for that purpose, we will make one chamber here, which is called as surge chamber, in which a top of this tank, huge tank is open. So whenever the reverse force has been applied because of stoppage of water, the reverse force will be created in this paint stock and that reverse force can be compensated in this surge chamber where a huge tank half of empty tank is there so this all force can be absorbed in that tank and we can avoid the future accident so for for avoiding this we have to use this surge tank this is one important thing related with the high hydro power plant also as we know the force of water is, or speed of water is very high we have to select either Francis or Pelton wheel turbine for this type of head. Rest of all things generation is similar for all the type of power plant where once the turbine start rotating it will on the same shaft our alternator has been installed and if with respect to the turbine alternator also get rotated and electricity has been produced. So it is constant in all type of power plants, hydroelectric power plants specifically. In medium head, we have 30 to 100 meters head. The rest of all things are similar. And one important thing, the surge tank required for medium head is a little bit smaller than high head power. We also called this surge tank as a four way. So four way means a facility which can flow the excess water through some other canal or through some other tunnel this facility can be act as a surge tank in this medium air power plant and as we know the speed is little bit less in this uh, power plant so we can use Francis turbine in this power plant now next is the low head hydro power plant in which you can see simple structure is mounted where the slope is very uh, less as uh, 30 meters and it is channelized the river from another canal and we will try to create some force in this area to this canal and it will transfer the water here you can see one more thing that is tail race tail race means after using the water in the powerhouse we have to send that water to the river or canal whatever it but when we are going to send it we must have to take some precautions like the water should not uh, damage the coastal or uh, the boundaries of that river and it should be flow properly without creating any other impact on the border or at the uh, inside of this river so we must have to discharge this water very properly without making any bad impact on this flow of this river so that's why we give specifically this uh, name as a tail race and we have different type of tail race also for discharging the water after using in powerhouse one more thing speed of power plant is very small and maybe uh, the water quantity also smaller so its overall capacity is smaller as compared with high head and medium head power plant and as the speed is very small so we can select Francis or Kaplan type of turbine for this 
type of power plant. Next type is according to the nature of load. As we know, our power providing agencies bifurcated on the consumers and they analyze us on the basis of our load demand. Is how much time we demand the power. According to that, they have bifurcated all the consumers in two major types. One is base load consumers and another one is peak load consumers. And from that, they have also bifurcated the power plants in that like base load power plant and peak load power plant. So what is exactly base load? Base load means the load or the demand which is 24 by 7 required that is called as base load and peak load means the hours where few hours actually where the demand is very high and that is we have to fulfill with some other type of power plant and hence we can call this type of power plant as a peak load power plant and the demand is called as peak load so the power plant which can give us 24 by 7 electricity that is called as base load power plant the example of that is uh, storage plant runoff river power plant with bonded and peak load power plant we have uh, pumped storage power plant and small runoff river power plant with bondage also we can let's see in detail this chart you can observe up to 500 megawatt is the base load or it is constantly required for all the time but from 500 you can see there is changes and around 1400 megawatt is the maximum demand of our system and 1300 for some time then it get reduced and 500 megawatt is constantly required so up to the 500 megawatt it is our best demand and more than that is our peak load or peak demand in which suppose around 1000 megawatt is the average of this entire consumption so we can say it is the average load. but for some time we have to provide the electricity around 1400 megawatt for some time like in between 8 to 10 am in morning in evening 3 to 4 pm in evening in this chart okay i am talking about this chart the demand is very high and we have to fulfill this demand with the peak load power so i hope all of you understood this different type of loads now because of the video length next topic i will cover in second part of this video so please stay tuned